Hey guys, Max here, and welcome back to Max Plus, where today we will be reviewing LEGO Transformers Double Tread. So, Double Tread here, he is a military pickup truck. Let me try and get the lights up better on him again. Come on, focus. Focus camera. <laughs> and it'll focus eventually, as we all know. Why? Here, come on. Come on. Focus, please. Do it for me. Come on. That doesn't matter. Anyways, double tread here. Big old military pickup truck. So, he's got some hood vents up here. He's got some nice little headlights and the fenders. Nice grill. Got a little siren on top. Um, round back. Just not much to be said. Just have this gap here, which can get annoying, but to make the robot mode look nice, I had to keep it. So, round back, no tail lights, but due to transformation, I wouldn't have been able to add any in anyway. And you can see the black windshield wraps around the entire cabin, and he is this very nice shade of green. Now. Originally, Double Tread used to be like a half track, giving him his name, but I still think the name fits with this. So, and this is the one I'm willing to show you guys because the old one was trash. Either way, just get some comparisons out of the way. Here he is with a minifigure. See how that stacks up. Here he is with Nighthawk. Just. You can sort of see Nighthawk still like two studs longer than him, but well, you actually you can't. Now you can. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, that's Nighthawk, and then just for fun, here he is next to Buster. They're both Buster is very small, but still a formidable threat to this pickup truck. Either way, that's enough comparisons. So now let's get on to accessories. And accessories this guy does have. So, moving him off to the side, we have this thing. It's on this little clip. It's like this rocket rack. All these rockets here can come out, and they're, they're just simple rockets. It's quite funny. It also has this little gun on it, too. But. If you want to attach to the vehicle mode, just fold down this little peg, bring him over, and it just studs right in. And just like that, he now has a rocket rack. There you go, you're finally focused. <laughs> anyway, let me just adjust my light. You can see I sort of have a little spotlight here. It's kind of cool. Anyway, um, enough of that. It's basically the alt mode. If you wanted to, you can fit something in the bed. There's not much room, but like you could fit like an Energon cube or something like the classic Lego Energon cube for this scale. It's more like a rectangular prism, but okay. Anyway, moving this off to the side, let's get down to transformation. So we're going to raise up the camera just ever so slightly, move my light, and we are going to get into it. So. Transform Double Tread, he has a very simple transformation, but a very fun transformation at that. It's just a fun thing to transform. First thing you're going to do is take the light here and move it back. May push the bed out of shape, but yeah, just leave it there for now. Next, you're going to pull the truck front forward. It's on some Technic pegs in there, and then you're going to flip it out. And then you're going to pop them back in. And those are his legs. All you're going to want to do now is just split them. They're held together with a little half pin that just fell off because, of course, it did. The camera's on. Why wouldn't it fall off? So, after that, we can just split the legs. And now he has a nice old pair of legs to stand on, which is quite useful, I guess. Either way, now onto the upper body. So, what we're going to want to do is come around to the truck bed, move this back down, and then unfold the truck bed. Just sort of 
It's on these rounded 1x2s and it just sort of unfolds around this um, 1x2 modified clip thing. I don't know what LEGO calls their stuff anymore. Anyways, same on this side. Just sort of unfolds. And then it may pop off. It's just only, it's just a bunch of one stun connections here technically. So, either way. Next we're going to just move it back on this ball joint and then move it sideways and then down. Same on the side. And those are his shoulders. So after that, just make sure you have the arms all straightened out and then fold them down. Here, there you go, popped off again. Mm, there we go. And then after that, we come around to the back, we take that light, just flips up, and then the droid arm goes right in between the ball joints, it sort of clicks in, nice and satisfying like. And there, we have double tread in his robot mode. And he is awesome, I love this build. It is one of my most favorite builds I've ever made. So, he, he's just a simple bot that's just like, he's amazing, I love him. Either way, for some quick comparisons, I'll just, I'm not gonna transform any of the other guys, but here's a minifig. See, now he can stomp them out so you don't Double Tread Smash! I don't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe he could smash him, I guess. I don't know. Sort of his personality. Anyway, that's that. Here he is next to Buster's turret mode again. Just for his sense of scale. And here he is next to Charles. This is Charles. Anyways, enough with Charles. Um, all right, so, <laughs> getting the camera back in focus, come on, light. Come on, light my darker sour, come on. Ah, good enough. Um, anyways, posability, as you saw, it's all right on this figure. His head can look a little bit up. Well, actually not up at all, but it can look down. If you move the neck, it can look up. Um, the shoulders, they can go up and down and then forward and back. You're not going to get any forward and back motion with it though. It has two elbows technically. If you want to call this one a shoulder joint, you can. I don't. Just the shoulders right here. And it has the elbow joint right here just due to transformation. That was pretty nice. Um, and then he also has up and, up and down right here too. Now legs you'll get a little bit of wiggly waggly out of them. They go in and out a little bit on these tight ball joints. They can go f back this far, forward this far, and then he has a knee that can basically bend all the way back just because it's a transformation joint. And also, he did roll, as you did see in the beginning of the video, but as I say, I like to make a lot of my Transformers roll. So, anyways, now, we are almost done. If we bring in this device again, it's going to stud in on his shoulder, but you see anti-stud and anti-stud don't work together, so we got to do a little bit of prep work with this. So, sliding him off to the side and bringing in this, what we got to do is we got to pop this little section off and then pop this little half pin off and then this will be his little like rifle or sword or whatever but you take this half pin and you just plug it into the bottom and I use this technique all the time on my actual transformer builds but there we go now he has a stud and he has this weapon if you don't want the weapon separately you can just keep it on you just need the technic pin to come off so Anyways, bringing him back into the picture. Let's raise the camera back up a bit. Because he's going to get a little taller. You can just take this stud and this anti-stud here on his shoulder. And it just sort of pegs in. And then you can stand him back up. 
and pop his arm off. Because why? Of course, it's going to pop off. It's... But there we go. He now has his rocket rack. And he can just take the little rifle thing and stud it into his hands, either here, here. I, I like doing it here just because it looks cooler. Either way, there he is with all of his weaponry. Now, just bringing back in the minifigure again just to see, he has gotten much bigger, much bigger. It's hard to capture it on frame, much bigger. Anyways, moving the camera back to a place I feel safe because that was half hanging off my desk. So, anyway, moving micro me out of the way. Um, if you really want to see something funny, this is completely out of scale, but this is, this here, this is micro me. It's micro me. And then micro me only gets up to his foot. <laughs> Th this is for smaller scale stuff. I do have a few smaller skill builds. Either way, that's going to pretty much round up the video on Double Tread. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to see more like this build, uh, please comment down below. Um, I'm enjoying this so far, so, and y'all seem to like the Transformers, so. Either way guys, this is Max, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Bye-bye.